Alleged hit and run driver is caught by police after striking a school crossing guard this morning in Louisville. We have new information tonight. Hello, everybody. It's our top story on the night team. I'm Doug Prophet. It happened at the intersection of Cane Run Road and Bridwell. That's right near Wellington Elementary School. Police say 44 year old Delane Crow, Delane Rowe, excuse me, allegedly hit the traffic guard and then sped off. The traffic guard was taken to the hospital. Police say with serious injuries. Police captured him not long afterwards. WHS 11 night teams Taylor Woods and photojournalist Elijah McKenzie have been talking to parents as they were picking up their students today outside El Wellington Elementary School. Taylor. Well, Doug, some parents tell me it's hard not seeing the traffic guard they have seen for years as they dropped off and picked up their students at Wellington Elementary. And now they are hoping the crossing guard has a speedy recovery so she can return to work. Bumper to bumper traffic at the intersection of Cane Run Road and Bridwell Drive around 4 o'clock. Earlier this morning, a Louisville Metro Police traffic guard was struck here by a vehicle that failed to stop. A hit and run. Parents say Wellington Elementary's crossing guard is a nice lady. She always waves. I mean, she throws her hand up and she does continue to do her job. She's nice as can be. And a good wave every morning, you know, brings a smile to your face. A passerby ran to help the guard until EMS and Louisville Metro Police 3rd Division arrived. She was taken to the hospital with serious but non-life threatening injuries. Police later arrested Delane Rowe, the alleged hit and run driver in Jefferson Town. He's charged with felonies, leaving the scene, assault and disregarding traffic control. For now, many parents and students are feeling empty without their traffic guard. I mean, she does. She pushes that button and she helps everybody go across and now today it's it's insane. The intersection is now missing its traffic guard. Many parents are worried about safety and traffic. Now, as you can see, no one's there now. So and school's about to let out in about 10 minutes. So at a news conference on first day of school, JCPS Superintendent Marty Polio talked about the ongoing shortage of crossing guards supplied by LMPD. So I know it's a major issue. It's caused some traffic problems. Um, you know, we'll work with the city to help as much as we can, but there's very little we can do about that. I don't, I don't know what they're going to do. I really don't know what they're going to do. Christina McNertney says the guard knew how to keep the flow of the traffic going. Now she and Tanisha Guy are hoping for a speedy recovery. So I'm glad they were able to catch him, but I just hope that she can get well soon and recover and get back out here. Now, Metro Police say the hit and run happened at 920 this morning and shortly after that they got information about the vehicle that took off. An officer then spotted Delane Rowe and stopped him on I-64 near Shelby County. In studio, Taylor Woods, WHAS 11 night team on your side.